What is up everyone, we are back with another video and on this one I'm going to show you how to gather or box art screenshots and stuff for your Mio Mini Plus ROMs. This will also work for the original Mio Mini and I'll be using a program called Scraper. So the neat thing about Scraper is that it's a program that will automatically search all your ROMs and gather the necessary thumbnails for those ROMs and it will resize all of them to the correct size for the device that you're using. And this works pretty well with the Mio Mini. So all you need is um, a PC to be able to download the Scraper program and it will scrape most of these. Some of these I, I didn't have an option to scrape, like the CPS 1, 2 and 3, there was an option for that, but most systems will work with the Scraper. And it may not get all of the file names correctly because I did have issues with some of them not gathering the thumbnails, but it will gather most of it, like 90%, I would say, or 80 to 90%. So just a heads up, I am using Onion OS for this particular tutorial and I highly recommend installing the custom firmware because it's so much better than the stock OS and with Onion OS it will enhance your PlayStation performance on this device as well as having much more features and apps that you can download. I'm going to show you how to scrape all your ROMs all in one go pretty quick and simple tutorial so let's go. Alright so once Scraper is loaded up Yours probably looks a little bit different than mine because um, I'm already logged in on my Scraper account. But yours should say log in, create a premium account or create a free account. And I'm actually using a free account at the moment. And what a free account does is you can only scrape one system at a time. Uh, so a premium, you can scrape all 76 systems if you have a premium account. As you can see here, I only have one scrape engine enabled. And on the left side, you see all the systems that you can scrape or find artwork for. And again, this um, will get box art, um, logos, marquees, and also video previews. I think a premium account can fetch high quality videos, I believe. Once you've logged in, go ahead, insert your SD card of your Mio Mini. And I've got my 256 gigabyte SD card plugged in. As you can see here, here's my ROMs folder. And for the, this example, we're gonna be using Atari Lynx system because I don't have too much ROM, so it shouldn't take too long to scrape all of this. And let's back out. So first up, we want to select our uh, system. So go ahead and find whichever system you're going to be grabbing the artwork for. So there's links. And this is already located my uh, folder here, but it'll probably give you a default folder path. So you need to change this to where your ROMs are. In my case, it is onion. and ROMs, links, click OK. We want to choose Recal Box. So just choose this option. I've left most of this as is. So that's already ticked. Use specific configurations for links. Leave this unchecked. There isn't any metadata for the Mio Mini, so I don't think this is an option that we can actually use. And we want to go to media. Now initially, you will have three options here. One where it says video, one with an um, image and a logo, I think, or box art. Click the minus remove selected media. We only want one because we can't use um, video previews for the Mio Mini, unfortunately. And we want to choose internal mix and uh, select Screen Scrapers Recal Box Mix version two. So this will give you the screenshot here when we got the box up and we also got the cartridge and logo. And this will also kind of round off the um, image so it will fit your screen 
and look kind of like a TV screen, like a CRT TV. All right, this is the important part. We want to change this. We don't want um, where it says media dash images. We want to keep the percentage root, uh, ROM root folder percentage, but delete this. Now we need to just type images or I, capital I. We need to make sure it's a capital because uh, it's case sensitive. So capital I, M, G, S, short for images. And this will um, basically output all of the thumbnails onto or images onto um, the root of the links folder. We want to check this, enable it, type in 250, make sure keep image ratio is ticked. If you have issues with the thumbnails or images not showing up, then you can change the height to 300. You can change this to 300 and then uncheck keep image ratio if you have the problems with the images not showing up we're just going to keep the width to 250 check link from node image make sure this is checked and optimize media storage so this will shrink the image file sizes so it doesn't take too much room on the sd card and this is very helpful for the mio mini miscellaneous we can just leave unchecked that looks pretty good now once you're happy with the settings, click on run the scraper. Now if you have lots of ROMs, this will obviously take quite some time to gather all the artwork. But because we're only using images, um, this literally takes a minute or two. Right, so just click the tick here once we're finished and this will reset back to the beginning now sometimes you may have issues with the scraper being really slow and i think that's just a server issue if you find that scraping is taking too long it probably is the servers and just do it another day or just leave it and let it scrape just to show you this is the um this is the mio minis sd card here what you should have is a folder that says IMGS, capital I. Double click that and we're going to preview these thumbnails. As you can see, it's it has um, named all of these images the same as your ROM file names. So if you just want the screenshot, then just go back onto the scraper, go back onto media and change this to like just screenshot or screenshot and logo if you want to yeah this should work with the original mio mini as well and it may not fetch all of the thumbnails but it will fetch most of them here's another example so i've got some uh, sg sg 1000 roms Now, one issue that I did have, there isn't all of the systems available. So this just has the main ones. If I go back onto my Mio Mini folder list, like I don't think it has VIC-20. Maybe it does, I, I'm not too sure. Some, some of these don't seem to appear on Screen Scraper itself. We need to do Neo Geo CD as well. Do we have Neo Geo CD? We do. All right, so I'm just going to quickly do Neo Geo CD.
so it didn't seem to scrape that. I think maybe my Neo Geo CD ROMs are not in the correct file format. The extension here needs to be bin CCD Q image ISO or zip file. So I need to um, change these ROMs here. So if you find that the scraper isn't finding any artwork, then there's probably the file format of your ROMs. So uh, just to troubleshoot there, that's one of the issues that you may come across. So once you've done scraping all your ROMs, you can always refresh, press select and refresh ROMs. And if all goes well, then you should have something that looks like this. So you can see here, everything fits nicely. The screenshot, box art and logo. And you can see some of these ROMs have different uh, thumbnail. And I'm actually using the tiny best build for a 128GB SD card, even though this is 256. So I've used that, which I highly recommend because it has a lot of um, a lot of the main systems. Mainly the PlayStation selection is quite big. But you can also add your own ROMs to this as well. So you can see the thumbnail artwork is slightly different than what screen scraper has done. I think this is done manually using like an editing program. And just to show you that it doesn't get all of the artwork, not all the time. Sometimes it does miss a few, which you would have to manually get a screenshot and find the box art to like fix this issue. It works well and it makes it a lot easier to navigate all your ROMs and kind of select and see what you're actually playing because a lot of these titles I've, I've never played before. So there we go, that is how you screen scrape and get all the box art and thumbnails for your ROMs for the Mio Mini Plus. If you do have any questions, then please comment down below. And thanks for watching, I'll see you again on another one.